okay, let's say we have a problem that looks like this. Now there's two ways to solve this problem. One is algebraically, and one is graphically. So let's talk about both. So the first is algebraically. Okay? So I can solve this thing here algebraically, but I need to use some skills I've already learned. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn every addition, or excuse me, subtraction into addition by doing a sign change. I'm going to have to do some distribution here. So 2 times 4x is 8x plus negative 6. Now I want to get all the x's on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to add x to both sides. And I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Okay. So over here, X's cancel, over here the sixes cancel. So I've got 9x, right? Because there's always a 1 in front of that x, equals 18. Solve for x, so I divide by 9. So x equals a 2. Okay. So that was algebraically. Now graphically, what I can do is I can graph these two. Specifically, I can <clears throat> I can use a graphing calculator to help solve my case here. So I could look at each of these as if they are a linear equation. I know they're a linear equation because the x's don't have any squares in them. So in my calculator, I'm in my y1, I'm going to set my y1 equal to one of these equations. 12 minus x. I could make it plus negative x too. They both work. And my second graph is going to be my y2, which is 2 times 4x minus 3. Again, I can do some more work if I want and make it an 8x plus negative 6. That's fine too, saying the same thing. <clears throat> now, after I have that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the graph button. Now, after I hit the graph button, I might have to adjust my window. Remember, our window is just like the window in your house. It lets you see any particular instance on that graph, okay? where I've got x and y values. So my window might be set right here, so I'm looking right there. So I have to change what my minimum x is, and my maximum x, my minimum y, and my maximum y. Because okay? I can put that window wherever I want. Well, when I graph these, 12 minus x, 12 minus x is a line something like that see that with the, the glare, my alien lights. There we go. When I graph um, 2 times the quantity 4x minus 3, <clears throat> it's going to give me something that looks a little bit like that. Okay. So I may have to shift that window around so that I can see the very important thing I'm looking for. That is the intersection point of these two lines. And the reason the intersection point is interesting is because where both of these lines have the exact same y value and where they have the exact same x value. Okay? So in other words, right at that intersection point between these two lines, the x value is the same. So 12 minus x is equal to 2 times the quantity 4x minus 3. They're the same. Okay? And what I see there when I graph it is that my x is equal to a 2. Okay? The y really doesn't matter here, but the y would be a 10, but we really don't care about that. Okay? So I would check to make sure this works. I put in 2 for each of the x's, and I see that 10 equals a 10, and it works out.